I decided to wash my hair using my Bedhead Moisture Maniac and um, I'm going to try the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. I'm actually going to use it as a deep conditioner um, just to see how it it does that because it's actually I didn't realize that it was a leave-in like I read it but I didn't I just grabbed it um, but you can use it for daily styling on toil dried hair um, and you can use it as a leave-in treatment and um, it's for fist free hair so I can't see I can't see why I couldn't use it as a deep conditioner so I'm gonna do that the consistency is quite nice it's a little bit more like a custard like a jelly um, it's kinda thick uh, look at yeah so this is how it is it's kind of slimy but creamy so I'm just distributing it distributing it through my hair and it seems to be going in pretty nicely um, I am gonna put some in the middle here because in the crown of my hair that's where my most unruly hair grows um, it's thicker, it's drier, and I have to pay particular attention to it. So, yeah. doesn't feel too badly on. I'm going to probably, and you know what, I was going to add some oil to it just to make sure, but I'm just going to see how it works on its own. I'm going to come back to you guys and let you know after I finish washing it out. I'm going to keep it in for like an hour or so, because I'm doing some things around the house. I'm going to let you know how it turns out when I wash it out, the feel of it and everything. Okay, take care. Bye. Hi guys, um, I'm just back. It's pretty late at night and I'm just co coming back to report how the um, Cantu She Butter, sorry, Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream went. To be honest, I did not like it. Um, I used it as a deep conditioning um, agent and left it on for several hours today. And um, like three to four hours because I was doing some stuff. And when I took the, my shower to wash it out, I could feel immediately that something was amiss. Um, it felt like my hair was coated. It felt very, um, it, it felt as if it wasn't moisturized like a deep conditioner should have and I mean that being said it is a leaving conditioning cream. Um, my hair did not feel soft, it just felt overly coated and I did not like it. Um, a YouTuber subscriber of mine had commented that I should be wary of it because it has cones in it and usually I don't have I'm not you know picky about cones but I guess what I felt is the effect of what cones feel like the wrong cones and in here hmm, what do they have I don't know yeah it has this trimethacillimidicone which I think my recollection is this is a that's a bad cone. So um guys, I I didn't like this. I didn't like this. I had to actually wash my hair with my um with hold on. With my kiss my face shampoo two times to kind of get that feeling out of my hair and go over my hair again conditioning it with um, the uh, Moisture Maniac like two times and it still kept felt kind of funny but I really didn't have the time I was a little bit late but I'm gonna wash it again um, at some time I've braided it up with um, Afroveda Shea Amla um, butter but I'm also gonna so yes guys um, it's a no-go for me I don't think I'll use this again I really didn't like the feel of it and yeah as I said one of my um, subscribers had warned me about that and I um, I had to see for myself so 
Can't you shave out a leave-in condition and repair cream? Not for me. I'm not discouraging anyone else from trying it, but um, I definitely will not be doing this again. Um, I was supposed to give you guys a review of my um, of the Echo Styler uh, olive oil gel. Um, again, the rain fell and it kind of messed up my hairdo, and I just wanted to give it justice and um, make sure I do a proper review. So that's still coming. Um, as soon as I get that done, I'll let you guys know. But I can show you the results of my hair tomorrow. I will try and do that. So take care, guys. Bye. Hey guys, I'm just coming to you again um, just to finish off um, about the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. Um, I kind of stopped off in a rush the last time. Um, uh, it didn't work out for me. And what I think I'm going to do, because I don't want to waste product, is um, try it in a twist out or braid out and see. Because I was looking on YouTube and a lot of people used it for that and had rave reviews. But I still am doing that with much trepidation because... I really didn't like how my hair felt. I really did not like how it felt. So I don't understand how people are saying it's moisturizing. But, you know, and I'm going to try it again, give it a fair chance, and see how uh, that turns out. I'm just coming in. It's cold. I have on my scarf still. And um, I'll get back to you guys when I do that, whenever I do that. Um, I don't know when. Uh, hair is in a braid out used Afroveda Shea Amla Butter. Love it. Um, it's not as shiny as a twisted um, um, almond, but I love it. So, uh, yeah, I just came back to say that. So, uh, we'll see what happens with this, but I'm very disappointed because I just heard so many good things, but that's how it goes. Trial and error, and um, I guess we'll see what happens um, when I do try it again. So take care guys and see you again. Bye.